grocery store no you already know you are the TV dot TV the nigga that worked for the nigga that worked for the nigga that worked for the nigga that's a lie what's good though Ain't nothing, man. You know I'm out here smacking Van Paul Legacy, man. It's a beautiful vent in here. Beautiful turnout, especially with this weather going on out here. Crazy. You know the people. How you felt about that that first battle, man? Prez and Wavy. Um, I wish we didn't have a little bit of them audio issues because I thought that was gonna. Be, I thought it's a classic to me. That first round, Prez Mafia left the building, and then Wavy like them two niggas are superstars. To be honest with you, um, I thought it was crazy. I think they set the tempo of the night definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. I ain't going front, man. Like, yeah, besides the audio problems, though, that that footage was definitely live, though. Yeah, it the, 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 This last battle, I ain't going to lie, it was crazy, though, man. This is K. Sean versus Ill. What, what you, you think about I, that? I missed it. I was in the back. I was trying to fix some shit up and shit. Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't really like putting my opinion out there on, <laughs> on the cameras, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Yeah. But nah, I got I give it to Ills 2-1 though, man. I give it to Ills 2-1. He was he was in his element, man. To me, I say he back. You know I'm battling Bickham's at the next event. Oh what? It's my, this is my nigga right here. Niggas don't know. This is my I'll nigga. fuck any nigga. Come on, man. Tell us, let him know who you my beat. Nigga right here. I will fuck any nigga. I'm, I'm, this is my hype man now. So when okay. niggas diss me, Bickham's, when they, when they diss me, what you want to do? <laughs> Talk to that nigga Norbs, you heard? <laughs> Best That's what they do. He better show. That's what they do, man. You've been doing this shit for a minute, though, man. What, what actually got, got you into the game? Um, honestly, like when I was managing Math, Math kind of, well, he actually did introduce me to the um, to the battle world. To be honest with you, like I was kind of like, battle dudes can't fuck with records, and and Math kind of changed my perspective on it, so it made me more more into it. So when I started, you know, fucking with Math like that. I started really seeing the battles just start to pop off with the with the lines that actually. Mm. And um, my first favorite battle rapper was on Goods. Okay. After that, I really started getting into it, started seeing the competition of it. And ironically, I kind of fell into the situation later on. When Smack Smack recruited me. He was like, you know, um, he felt like I knew a lot about battle rap. And I always was um, I'm always I was always able to analyze talent, whether it be sports or anything. So. Started putting the roster together in URL, so everybody you see that's popping in the world right now, I really do got a hand in, so that's what's up. That's what's good, man. Cause you brought up my boy Mav, I fuck with Mav. Shout out to Mav. What's good with my boy, man? Since that last thing was serious, how's things looking, man? We we trying to work on getting him back on the card. I mean, man, like right now we still like you know we ain't we ain't um we ain't um pull the lead, you know. We still he's still banned for a while, man. So we haven't mm. backed off of that stance, and we really can't. For the simple fact that you know we do gotta set the precedent because if we allow that and bring them back, then it, plus especially the fact of my relationship with man, mm. you know, I, I, we can't be light on him in that situation. So it's a tough call because at the end of the day, you know, I, I love the nigga, that's my brother. So it's it's, it's a real awkward situation. I, I you know, I don't want it to build a rift between us, but I, I really do think it's a little bit of a separation that me and him do gotta mend because of the incident. So, okay, you know, okay. It's, it's it's a tough it's a tough situation to be in. Now I could dig it, man. So, you know, before we close out, man, I got one last little question, yeah. man. <laughs> little question the world the world has been wondering, man. So now we see a lot of NY dudes coming through on the PGs, man. Uh, like, uh, what, what, was the, what was the science with that, man? What, what, uh, what made y'all start just saying, like... Honestly, man, like, I, 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 there was a time where I wasn't really, like... I don't really care about where you're from. So the Detroit niggas and the Midwest niggas was real hungry. And the New York niggas was kind of, was kind of falling back. And, you know... Due to the fact that I, you know, I am the dude to, to, to make the to make the move in terms of bringing people in, I felt like I did need some some fresh blood in New York, and um, you know, Prez Mafia caught my eye, Mr. Wavy, and I started seeing Brooklyn niggas and, and, and more New York niggas taking the battleship more serious as opposed to before. Before it was really a Harlem thing. I'm gonna keep it real. Harlem was really one of the battle scene, and now you see my borough with you know we go hard niggas getting busy, and you know I had to bring them because there's a lot of talent. So. You know, sometimes you need a new infusion of, of, of fresh blood in there, man. Like you need, you need them new, new, new killers, man. And like I said, like I really feel like I, I picked the, the the cream of the crop in terms of the newest New Yorkers, man. And plus, I'm a Brooklyn dude, man. I gotta fuck with my Brooklyn niggas, man. Like I, this is my first love, Brooklyn, so. You know, yeah, a lot of people don't know how you put Mav into the game, but the main shit is, is like, I, I, you know, I do my homework and it's like, what, what was going on before, before that, like, what happened with like, like, did you bring, were you responsible for like the Had Ice versus Cortez in the Lions Den like oh, situation? Yeah, we like, when that situation happened, shit, I was what, like five and a half years ago. It was, it was, it was, it was a random call. Me and Lux just got to know each other, and um, Lux called me sporadically on some, like, I guess he was picking my brain and shit. And he was telling me about the card. And the crazy thing is I had already set up the Tech9 versus Goods card battle 
in another league, which was Blue Collar TV. And, um, you know, so so me and Lux is talking, we vibing in there, you know, that's my man at the end of the day. So we talking, we chilling, whatever. And he was, you know, like, yo, what do you think? Who should battle this? And I'm trying to put this together. And I guess he was looking for ideas. And I was like, yo, I got the Tech 9 versus Goods battle. He was like, yeah, I like that, you know. Boom, boom. He was like, yo, I'm going to use that. So we, we reached out. I did it as, you know, as a favor. And then it was funny when I told him about, he said he needed somebody for head ice. The first name I came up with was Court, uh, was um, Charlie Clips. So he was like, man, he ain't gonna do that as a Harlem thing. I'm like, man, that shit would be kind of dope. Then it was funny, because I was like, yo, my man Cortez, man, give him a shot, he's fire. And Lux laughed. Like, he was like, man, fuck, man, ice will kill him. And I was like, son, set it up, dude, trust me. And uh, he was a little hesitant to set up, because he was like, man, ice ain't gonna do it. Ice ended up doing the battle. You know, that's my big bro right there, shout out to that ice. And Cortez actually made his first, you know, he made his initial impact there with that. So, you know, that card, I could take a little responsibility for that, you know what I mean? Lux, you know what time it is. But um, yeah, that's how that shit went down, man. Huh? So it's to be in the making, man. Yo, oh. Street Star Noise, man. I want to salute you, man. Thank you. I want to be one of the one of the fans of the culture. That one of the ones that's into it for the culture. I want to thank you, Beasley, Smack, all those, your whole team. You know, for for, for cause like this thing, you know, this thing here, y'all y'all made it grow. Y'all made it believable that people could make something out of it. So it's crazy, man. I get recognized, motherfucking, all over the country, man. Out of the country, like when I'm on vacation, this shit the weirdest. I had an African nigga out of cab jump out on me, dog. That shit was crazy. So, you know, like, it's 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 definitely a blessing. You know what I mean? So, but you know, it's just the beginning for me. So, we go. We really got a lot of things going on. You all right, man? Like I said, man, follow the the innovator, not the imitator. You know, that's how we do.